Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 23 and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get gold in all of the sections here in the circuit of the Americas. On screen right now you can see my controller overlay if you want to pause the video here to have a better look you can do so now but other than that let's get on with the video. So coming out to the final corner you want to get onto the big straight here ride height device enabled and we want to keep an eye out for this floodlight here as we see that floodlight we can start breaking in quite firm. Downshift, use a lot of rear brake and gently pull yourself into the apex of turn one. As we come out this corner be careful of the wheelie, the bike wants to lift up there, into the right hand side for turn two, keep it in nice and tight and just manoeuvre the bike across to the left hand side but just use a little bit of front brake just enough to slow yourself down going into turn four, into five and then back across into turn six. Be gentle on the throttle, keep it in nice and smooth and get across the line to complete the first section. Now we're going to do sector one again, it's not a very long sector so I thought it would be worthwhile doing and I usually do two of each sector so keep an eye on the floodlight to the right hand side, once you approach that start braking in, downshifting using a lot of rear brake and gradually coming off the brake to go tight to the apex. Actually went a little bit too tight there but it's not a problem because that rumble strip is quite flat. So into the right for turn two, again moving across to the left hand side, going to start braking here as we hit the apex, just enough just to slow the bike down, you could see it there on screen, and then back across to turn six, where we're gonna go either tight or wider. I'm trying both lines, I would probably say wider is the better option. So moving across now to sector two, we're just gonna wait for the autopilot and then we're just gonna start attacking nice and smooth in the acceleration, braking quite calmly to turn seven, and get yourself over to the left hand side so you can really go in tight, tip it into turn 8 and back across to the left hand side for turn 9. Now try and avoid the rumble strip into turn 9 which is on the left hand side and also here for turn 10. It can get a bit bumpy there and you can lose control so be very careful. Brake nice and early for turn 11 and keep it in tight, drop down to first gear and bring on the ride height device and start charging out of the corner and onto the massive, massive straight. So once again, sector two into the right hand side, again get over to the right, then bring it in to the left hand side for turn seven. Move over to either the middle or the left hand side, I do prefer the left and then bring it into the right. Try and avoid the rumble strips as I mentioned, they do get a bit bouncy and going through them without touching is a lot more precise. As you can see, also the same for turn ten. Right out device breaking well before that rumble strip begins and then into the left hand side for turn 11. Quite wide at that time, but it's not a problem. As long as you get the angle right and prepare yourself to leave the corner with good speed, you're good for turn 11. So we're coming out of turn 11 again, this time for sector three. We have the long, long straight here, so it's an easy enough sector, but we do have to contend with turn 12. So right out device, full acceleration, prepare yourselves for braking roughly towards the middle of this rumble strip. That gives you ample time to start braking. As you can see there, we could have gone later, but concerning the gold, you only need to get the gold, so that's all that matters. So make sure you're braking at a nice stable pace and keep it in very, very gentle. So into the rest of the sector, pretty easy enough to be fair, as long as you're gentle upon the brakes. If you start pressing firmly, you will not make these corners. So again into sector three, but this time focusing more on the rest of the track. But again, we will focus a little bit on this long straight because of course we can't ignore it. So charging down, keep an eye on your right hand side, the rumble strip stops and then it begins. Start braking there, that gives you more than enough time to brake into turn 12. You can go later, but just focus on there for now. Get across to the left hand side for 13, brake nice and early, but gradually and only about halfway. Keep it in tight to the apex, swing it into the right for 14. Keep it straight here, then begin to brake as you go to the left hand side. This wider sweeping angle brings you into turn 15 and allows you to get some more speed coming out of the corner. So once again, this final part, Autopilot's going to demonstrate it for you this time. I thought our version was better, but into the left for turn 15, a little bit wide, we bring on the power. So to the right, you can either go in the middle or tight. I would suggest middle towards wide rather than going too tight. It does work, but it's better to go a little bit wider and then follow that racing line. Break in nice and early for the left hand side for 19. Bring on the acceleration. Use the right height device if you want, but I didn't this time around. And now into the left, braking nice and early. Actually went a little bit wide there, my mistake. Pressed the brake too hard and I didn't give myself enough time to lean in. So once again, wide apex for 15 where the AI sends to do that. We're going to go over to the right for 16 and we're just going to be gentle with acceleration. Move over to the left or go in the middle. You see that deep dark lines on the tarmac? That's where you need to be. 
Start braking as you get roughly towards the green on the left hand side of your screen as that ends. Start braking going into turn 19, bring on the power, brake well before the green there and then bring in to turn 20. Nice and calm, don't hit the full brake because you can't turn the bike in like I demonstrated on the previous lap. So then it's about putting it all together now then. We have the gold option time in our sight. So let's get across the line and you're actually going to find this is probably going to be easier than doing the individual section. So hard to the brakes as we see that floodlight to the right hand side. Gradually bring in the Ducati to the left hand side for turn one. Follow that racing line. You see how we're still sticking to that deep dark line on the track. Back over to turn two. Bring on the power, but be gentle. You don't want to be going full power because you will lift the front wheel up and back into turn four and back across to turn five. This dancing, smooth motion we've got to do for the early parts of the track. Still into the right for turn six, then we'll go gentle on the brakes for turn seven, reaching about 70% of brake pressure and then back across into the right for turn eight. Happened to go on the rumble strip there and it did set us off kilter a little bit, but we managed to recover and back into the left for turn 10 again tight to the apex, hit the Rhinite device, keep the bike nice and sturdy, brake into going into turn 11, a little bit deep this time around, but as you can see, not a problem when you hit the Rhinite device back on and you start progressively accelerating. If you just go full acceleration coming out of turn 11, you're gonna have a bad time. So Rhinite device, gradual acceleration, and keep an eye out for the green part of this rumble strip. When that materializes and appears, that's your chance to start braking. And as I mentioned earlier, it's better to brake early and give yourself ample time than it is to go too late. Now into turn 13, still a very simple corner to tackle. Keep it in nice and tight. Go straight and then begin to brake as you turn in left. I cannot reiterate to you how important it is to not hit the brake fully in that section there. Just gentle 50%, 60%, 70%. It'll still enable you to turn in and to close that understeer that you may have. So now into the left hand side, coming to the green part there from your left, and now into 19, we'll bring on the power. Once again, right out device is optional. Break here into the final corner, and you have tackled the circuit of America's in under two minutes. Not quite, but it's still good enough for the gold. Well, just in case you aren't quite satisfied with that, we're going to do one more lap time, just to make sure it's all hitting home and we're all confident that we're going to get it right. Guys and gals, don't forget to subscribe as well if you're enjoying this sort of content. It does take me a while to do and it, it's not easy to make because I'm also focusing on trying to help you guys rather than just playing the game. So into turn one, a little bit deep, not quite as confident. Don't think I listened to my own advice by breaking at the floodlight, but it's not a problem. We'll start bringing on the acceleration again, gradually, not too aggressively, and then turn in for turn four and back into turn five. Nice and tight, went across the rumble strip there. Wouldn't advise it, but it is possible if you want to try and sneak a few extra couple of tenths of a second or at least a couple of milliseconds at least. So into turn seven and back across to turn eight. We're still going to be in the middle of the circuit, going to avoid touching the rumble strips if we can, which we do. And then into the acceleration turn nine, into the left hand side for turn ten. Just barely touched the apex there, but we're all right. Breaking nice and early and nice and firm for turn eleven. This time it's going to be a beautiful tight apex able to bring on the ride out device but unfortunately I did bring on the power a little bit too early the bike lifted up and we got caught in the rumble strip it's not a problem we just lost a couple of tenths there and hereabouts so it's not really a problem but onto the brakes again nice and firm but not overly firm into turn 12 very tight apex downshifting to first and then across into the right hand side for turn 13 a gentle break 50% 60% of pressure Get into the right hand side, bring on the acceleration, start breaking in for turn 15. A little bit deep, but as you can see, closing that tighter line with the trail brake gives you a much better exit coming out of turn 15. Can be quite crucial for picking up good time for this final sector. So into the final two corners now. See the green on the left? As that ends, you can start breaking into turn 19. Bring on the power. Once again, we'll be using the green as a braking marker, and that will conclude another lap time of the Circuit of the Americas. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description.
consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Doctor Ace video.